I can see it through the window. It says tan tag is the 50% off sale. So you guys can see right through the window there is like the nicer stuff, I guess. So we'll look there. I am just going to ask them to take out all the brooches. Um, I want to thoroughly check them over to check the backs to see how the construction, how it's made, and then also looking for a maker's mark on these brooches. Look at this, you guys. Have you ever seen? This is a horn. Someone carved it to make it look like a shark. Look at how adorable this folk art German music box is. I wonder if this is worth reselling. But let's talk about what I picked up, why, and what I think I can get for it. I'm going to be putting it online versus the antique booth. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and in today's video, we are going to be shopping at Salvation Army. It is a thrift store here. I live in Wisconsin terrible Wisconsin weather here. I have like an eye cold, the whole thing going on. It's been a day, it's been a week, but um, James and I switched cars at gymnastics today with the kids. So now I'm able to go out and go thrifting. And now this is one of the only stores that has jewelry that they sell here and hard goods. And I started adding hard goods to the things I pick up. A, I'm starting to really do well selling them online. And B, I'm going to be getting into an antique booth very soon. So I am excited. I've been shopping for it. I'm really excited, excited to take you guys along the journey of starting an antique booth type of a thing. So um, yeah, so let's go see what we can find in the thrift store to flip for profit. I can see it through the window. It says tan tag is the 50% off sale. So you guys can see right through the window there is like the nicer stuff, I guess. So we'll look there first. All right, so here we are at Salvation Army. I'm looking at purses. I see some Dooney and Burke, some Bear Badly, and Coach purses. Moving this clock out of the way, but look, look at this mini, possibly Wedding Davis, and this Atomic purse looking bag thing. I definitely want to see those two pieces. Not interested in really designer bags too much, but I do like seeing vintage bags. I'm going over to more of like the hard goods section here. Look at this like camel thing. Ooh, look at those vase or um, glasses. They are metal etched glasses. Looks very like India to me. I really love those genie lamps. I think I'm going to ask them to look at that as well. Um, and then what is this? Is this like a soapstone cat? So there's a few things in there that I think I'm going to ask them to show me. And then over here to the jewelry, I actually was just here recently. And it doesn't look like they put in um, very many new things. I see cufflinks there, not too exciting. Um, unless it's like a men's jewelry piece that really stands out, then I usually don't go for it. Unless it's in like a lot, then I will list a lot of men's jewelry. But looking down in the bottom row, these all look very modern to me. So nothing's really catching my attention. Maybe this like hand charm fish thing, but it still has the lobster clasp, lobster claw clasp. Not interested. Um, coming over here, look at this. It is a big bin of jewelry. <laughs> it is, let's see. Looks like a bunch of bangles and I see paparazzi. Uh, you know me, I like finding lots with brooches and earrings and that was like $59.99. Here's another tote. 
I'm just gonna move them out of, out of the way to see the brooches. I kind of wanna just take them all out and have them show them all to me so that I can look at the backs because you learn more about a brooch and even earrings um, by seeing the back and the construction and the maker. Here we have pendants, rosaries, watches. I'm not as interested in all of those. We have more long necklaces. And then over here, we have earrings. I like those. Those are Mickey Mouse. They kind of look like stone. Maybe they have sterling hooks. I usually like finding clip-on earrings though. I'm just, I really gravitate towards clip-on because they are vintage. I usually do really well with some clip-ons. Look at those though. Those look very bright and onyx. So I'll take a look at those as well. Rings. Ooh, that one's new right there. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's just look at these. These are gorgeous, very chinoiserie style. What is this called again? I think it starts with an S. I'll put it up in the screen. Ah, oh, what am I looking at here? Look at how awesome this guy, he's made out of horn. He is a shark that someone carved. Interesting. And then we have a decanter set here and there's a sticker that says something. I'm gonna have to look into it more, but stay tuned till the end of this video where I show the haul of things I did get. All right, so I have all the brooches out here. This one says Crown Trifari, which I'm very surprised, so that's exciting. This one just says Napier. This one, however, is fruit jewelry, and it does say West Germany right there. This is the one that I missed last time. It was $10, but today it's five. This one's interesting. It is horn. It's a little horn, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, a deer antler carved and painted. This one doesn't say anything. So I'm gonna leave that one. This one is Winnie the Pooh. Oh, oh, here's the match. I was like, is this a bull? But it's actually Eeyore. So I'm still considering those, but they are half off. Disney does well. We have this little, little tiny enamel pin. I know fruit jewelry does pretty well. Oh, here's the piglet. Okay, we have like a little set going on. They're all half off. I might get those. Let's get back to this one here. I'm looking to see if there's any mark or anything on the back. I don't see anything. Maybe a hat pin or a tie tack. Um, so I will consider it, but it is so stinking adorable. So sweet. Uh, there's this, I don't know, very chic, classic gold tone swirl. No maker. Okay, here I see some genuine pearls. So these are $4.99. I will get these rice pearls here. Not sure what this is. It does have a spring ring clasp, so, so I will look into it a little bit more. Um, there's this piece that has really cute charms on the bottom. Some like glass crystals. It does look more modern. So I do find another hang tag. This one is Nakamul. Uh, that is a more modern jewelry designer, but it doesn't go for a ton. They do use natural stones though. So I do like that. I love those colors. Ooh, look at that little vintage piece. We have some dyed cell. And we have hematite. Looks like red jasper and I don't know, turquoise, but I don't think that's sterling silver. I think um, I'm confused by this piece. It does have a barrel clasp and I think I'll pass on it. We have this that says something. That's a really pretty faceted crystal. Okay, look at how cute this little folk art German music box is. So you see the little musical components in there. The bottom, it should say the song, um, but it looks like it's overwhelmed because it's not playing, which is such a bummer. I think the box itself is just darling. I love that look, that folk art look. 
Um, but here's another box. It's like an enamelware with a scene on it. Also, this one's broken. And then back here is a butter dish. This looks very mid-century modern. Stainless steel. I'm looking for a mark. Oh, do you guys hear that? What am I hearing in there? I have no idea. What would they put in a butter jar? Okay, this is what they put in there. It is a glass piece here. So into the cart it goes. I want to research it more, but it's interesting. I might put it in my antique booth or something. Um, what do we see here? I see a trivet. Trivet says, says Wilton. So I left it there. Um, moving on to the other side. Ooh, I love looking in glass vases. This looks like a little Tanala piece. Let's see if it says made in Mexico. Yeah, but there's a big chip. Okay, we're putting that one back. I like just looking on the bottoms of all of these pieces because I am still learning. Ooh, hand painted Del Holland. $3.99, it won't go for much, but I do like that for sure. Ooh, a little crackled glass piece. That I love that blue color. And there's a big chip right there out of it. That's a bummer. Um, I am just drawn to that. It's probably like a Mikasa, I'm not sure. Spider juice, what is that? This is a really pretty little vase. The flowers aren't chipped, but no maker that I can find. Still learning about things like that. Clear glass. I don't really know a lot about clear glass except for Waterford Crystal does really well. I found one Waterford Crystal piece before. It was marked on the bottom. This one is an etched flower uh, glass. So Salvation Armies are not stocked as much as Goodwill. The Goodwill by me um, has inventory constantly stocked into the shelves. Salvation Army is not as much, and it's probably because, um, what is this? Hold on, let me get back to my thought. But that I think is a wine bottle holder. But anyways, I think it's because they don't have a really great drop off donation section. So I think a lot of people just like to stay in their cars in Wisconsin while someone unloads their donations. So yeah, Salvation Armies by me do not have that. Look at how pretty that is. I like that. I really like that little doll in the, gl in the um, glass. These little plates are so sweet, but I have no idea what that little middle thing is. This one says Germany. <laughs> when I see like Germany, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Russia, I'm just like, yes, look this up. I have found some brass India coasters in a box before that just sold. And then this looks familiar to me. I have something like this for my kids where it's like little people inside for Thanksgiving. And this looks very similar. It has, I don't know, not exactly the same. But we already have something like that. Super fun. I pull that out during my fall and Thanksgiving unit at, for um, our homeschool little fun activity to play with. No idea what's in here. I cannot open it, but when I came back later to look, it was just a metal bell. This looks Avon. It is. Uh, this I decided to look up and it wasn't selling for much, but it is like a vintage deer piece, which I was surprised it wasn't selling for much. Um, more knickknacks. I love brass bells. <laughs> I love brass in general. I like that look. Do you guys pick up bells? What kind of bells do you pick up and look for? Because I've only picked up two and I've sold one and I haven't listed the others. So um, I don't pick up very many bells. All right. I had to cut the shopping video because my battery completely died. So a lot of things I just had to buy on instinct. I'm doing better in regards to hard goods. So let's talk about what I picked up, why, and what I think I can get for it. If I'm going to be putting it online versus the antique booth. I also want to get your 
professional opinion on a lot of these things because this is my first time opening up an antique booth. Uh, so this is all going to be trial and error. So I'm pretty excited about this. All the little pieces, jewelry pieces and things are in here in this box. But let's talk about the things outside of the box first. Well, let's just talk about this big thing first. You guys might recognize this as a crafty homemade piece that was very popular where uh, a lot of ladies, maybe men, made these with safety pins where they would put beads with safety pins and make Christmas trees. This one actually feels nicer. I've actually had one of those safety pin trees before. My neighbor, I would say like 10 years ago when I lived in a condo, she made one for me or gave one that she had made to me and like lights were bunched up in the center and then you lit it up for Christmas. This one actually has that um, plastic, what is this, needlepoint fabric on the bottom, like a circle and then there's no safety pins or anything, but I did try this out. I tested the plug and it does plug in. There's the top right here. So this is going to be going into my antique booth. I did pay $7.99 for it, but it does work. I'll be saving this for Christmas. I might get like $30 for this. I mean, that's just my guess of what I'm going to be listing it for. I think it's super neat um, and really, really well made. They did bunch up the Christmas lights in there just like you would uh, with the safety pin trees. So yeah, so there's that. That one we will save. And then let's talk about this. I saw this in the shop with me portion. This came with six little etched cups. And of course we see that it is $19.99 half off. So when I get home, I usually like to put a line through the half off pieces just so I remember my cost of goods whether I'm saving it for an antique booth or I'm going to be listing it online I like to remember what I paid for it when I'm listing it because I put that into my Vendu platform program uh, so yeah this is let's just show how beautiful these are this is a decanter set and has all that little Oh, look at this one little dainty etched flowers and leaves and the bottom right here says made in Romania right there all the little stemware pieces and decanter have the sticker and of course the decanter top is in is intact so I got this for ten dollars the whole set thinking that this would be best put into the antique booth for around $50 for the set. That is just a guess. I'm guessing based off of what I'm seeing on eBay. Now, George the Antique Nomad, sometimes, well, I would say a lot of times prices things higher in his antique booth or something because he's saying, like when I watch his online auction recaps, he'll say, the market told me that this sold for 30, which was less than I expect, but that's because the buyer has to also pay for shipping. And so when he sells things in his antique booth, buyers don't have to pay shipping, which I always just assume that you would be, I would be pricing things at like at least a third less than what I would online in an antique booth. But if you, if you don't have, like say the market might be a little bit saturated with something like this, we'll talk about this next, this mid-century modern stainless steel butter dish. If there's like five of these exact dishes for $25, maybe I can put $25 in my antique booth because there's nothing else at the antique store like this. I don't know. What are your thoughts? This is all going to be trial and error. But definitely for jewelry, I think the jewelry pieces that I put in, I'm going to be pricing lower than I would on eBay. All right, so I'm going to tell you that I did pay $143.21 for this haul, I guess I should say, which is pretty typical, somewhere around there. Um, 
for a, a shopping trip. So let's talk, I'm gonna move these. I only unwrapped these two, but um, gently put those to the side. Let's talk about this. Okay, so when I picked it up, it made that noise, that little shake noise. And then when I looked inside, let's see, I think it might have been the other side <clears throat> that opens. Please excuse my throat. I think that usually I feel kind of okay by the morning-ish and then by the, by the time like 2 o'clock comes around, I just start feeling worse and worse and then right before bed, like right now, I kind of, my throat just doesn't feel good and it's just been a thing um, that's been going around. So here is the top and it is stainless steel, there it is. So this is the butter part, I'm thinking this is a butter part. Some people po um, posted that this was a condiment holder, uh, maybe like relish, I don't know, pickles something. I would think that it's butter. The ridges are on the bottom part of this. And then, all right, huh, the whole thing just fell over my camera and everything. I don't know how you guys, um, how your camera is set up, but I feel like I'm always not doing it correctly in my light box because my camera is literally in front of me and it falls over quite often and it's hard to see. <laughs> So, uh, I, I would say like three months ago, I did purchase a very expensive, in my opinion, camera, um, where there's a base and then it's an overhead camera and you can literally like swivel and move it wherever you want and zoom. And it's just like the most beautiful thing. And I was like, yes, I need that. But it needed to be like the project needed to be fully funded first and then it needed to go through all these different stages. So like I'm one of those people that funded the project even though I just bought it ahead of time before it came out. It's coming out in July, I believe, by Lenovo, I think. So here we are with <laughs> camera setup issues still and hopefully that will solve the um, issues we're having. Anyways, let's look on the back here. So it does say stainless steel and it says Stanley Roberts right there. So if you were to look this piece up, most of them don't have this butter dish uh, glass plate in the inside. So that's really nice that mine has this. There are some people that are really underpricing themselves. There's one listing with the butter, glass butter thing, $23 free shipping. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm just not all about free shipping for hard goods because I feel like like shipping this two or three pounds, it could go like a lot of different places and you would be losing money. Jewelry maybe is less risky because jewelry usually stays around the $4 to $5, three to $5 mark for uh, your jewelry pieces for shipping. <clears throat> so you can kind of just guess and build that into your price if you want to do free shipping. Let's talk about this. Um, right away, I love picking up hand-painted in Italy pieces. This one is so sweet. I did look this one up. It's looking like it's around $18 to $20, and this one was $2.99. It looks like a little spoon should go there. The ones that I saw listed online did not have a spoon, but this is just so sweet. All right, let's get the tape off. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. What would we put in here? What would you guys put in there? So cute, so hand-painted. <clears throat> I have a lot of pieces that that are hand painted Italy. I'm planning on putting in my antique booth, so maybe I would put this with it. Or this one can be either or, it can go either way. So, but I haven't built up a following for hard goods yet, like I have with jewelry. So, jewelry, I have repeat buyers and they can do bundles because they know the style and they know, like, they just trust the whole store process. Um, and, like, I don't have a following for hard goods, obviously. So 
yeah, this is like kind of new-ish. So let's look at this cute piece again along with the hand-painted pottery theme. But this one is actually made in Germany. So this one has a stamp on the bottom, made in Germany. And right here, I think it says made in Germany or Germany, German ceramic in German. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot read German. I know the niche lady likes to try reading German. Okay. Um, hand bemalt, hand bemalt, handmade maybe. And then this one says, Utmer Keramik. And I'm thinking that's ceramic. But there's some glitter in here. And this, I'm thinking, it can go for $20 to $25 for that. I did pick up a couple belts. And one you will see in a bit. This is croc embossed. And it looks like... Mm, it looks shiny. I don't think it's patent, though. But... It has a very chic, timeless design. It could very well be vintage. Um, but it does say, I think, where does it say? Da Vici, made in Italy. And Da Vici is not like a brand where you're like, wow, I need to look out for that. It's the made in Italy part right here. It's the genuine, oh, it says American alligator. Oh, I didn't even know that. So this is alligator skin. So, um not embossed. So definitely the Italian part there. Th a lot of times like shoes or belts will have like this random Italian name linked to it, but that's actually not what's going to be selling it. Um, it's not like a be on the lookout brand. It's actually that this is made in Italy. So I got this one for two, this one for $2 and 49 cents. And I'm expecting around 30 for that. All right, shall we look in the fabulous enamel lacquer orchid box? Just the box itself. This is made in China. It does say made in China. And it, there was another sticker, probably a maker. I think I paid it $5.99. So made in China. There was another sticker here. Uh, I could not find any other box like this and it's a big box and that's really thick enamel on here so uh this i'm expecting i'm going to price this at at least probably 50 dollars honestly um just yeah it's just gorgeous so we're opening it and this usually will hold and it looks like the screw came undone. So I might have to figure that out, like screw that back in. But this would usually hold the box lid. All right, we have goodies in here. First of all, this is a heavy... Oh, we have an earring stuck in there. <laughs> Let's get that out. Okay, $3.99. No idea what this is. I'm going to have to put it up on the screen if I can figure this out. I thought maybe candles or lipstick holder. I think it's brass. It's definitely metal. Um, and then there was a little mark right here. So this was a I'm taking a chance on, but it's beautiful enough. So M right there in a diamond. I'm very unfamiliar with metal makers for the most part. <laughs> I don't know a lot. So but really beautiful, and I actually really love brass pieces myself, so I'm really just drawn to that, and this, yeah, I could not pass that one up. We have the other belt here, which I did not look up, the maker, but I'm going to have to put this up on the screen as well, but when I was looking through belts, um, this one definitely stood out to me. It's the ends are leather, so that's a good sign. It's a chain belt, but it also has the elastic here. And then, let's see, which end has the maker? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? There we go. So look at this maker has like a metal tag on it. So I haven't looked it up. But definitely worth taking a chance on. This is, it feels very high quality. And it says, 
Susie Roher? Roher? Yeah, I think. But I'm going to have to look that up. But this one was also $2.49. And I will be putting that one up on eBay. Look at this, you guys. Another thing that I have no idea. Never sold anything like it. But it's a burl wood knot that has been lacquered. And then it has a little, like, cast iron man with his little wagon of coal. So I'm guessing that this is like a folk art or artisan type piece, like a little silly fun artsy piece. And I don't know if he's like coming out of the cave mine or whatever, but it's so cute little art piece, has a little felt bottom, $4.99. How could you pass this up? It's things like this that I think would do really well online and the antique store because it's really fun and interesting and handmade and yay. So that is why I picked that one up. We see another little hard goods piece sneaking out right here. Uh, this is so sweet. So we have some carved like sun rays on the outside. Oh, it does say something. What does it say? Ober, Oberammer Gau? That sounds like, it sounds German again, but hand painted little lingonberries maybe? Are they elderberries? what kind of berries are these? Are they flowers? I don't know. But aren't they so sweet? Okay, it doesn't say anything else. But $1.99, it can hang on the wall. So this could definitely uh, go in the antique booth just as something really sweet and feminine. And it like goes with the boho look with the wood and everything. Oh, I just love, 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 love. And, or I can look it up online, see if there's enough keywords I can bring traffic to it there. So there's that. All right, jewelry, la 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 la. Okay, we saw this piece. And I'm gonna have to see if I can find anything like it online. So again, this was half off. So I do mark it, probably mark the rest later. Oh, my pen is running out. So half of that. So $5. Let's see. It has like this older, um, it just definitely feels older, this metal right here. And it does say made in W Germany back there. It feels like enamel over maybe celluloid or acrylic, but there's a little chip right here, which I'm okay with because something like this, I do not come across very often so interesting. As a matter of fact, like I was, before I went to Salvation Army today, I I like randomly one day I was like, didn't I find a fruit piece that was West Germany? Did I not buy that? Why did I not buy that? And so there we go. I have it. Yay. <laughs> We're going to put it in this bowl because doesn't it match so well? Oh, that looks so nice. Okay. Next. This is the earring. The other one's in here somewhere. But this one was $2.99. You guys might be able to guess why I picked this one up. It is Victorian Revival and it is the 1928 brand Swirling. I have heard a lot of you mention that the 1928 brand on Vendu isn't working for you. Like there's some kind of glitch with 1928. And I kind of understand what you're talking about a little bit. <clears throat> because when I go into Macari or even sometimes Poshmark um, and you like type 1928, you it won't recognize just 1928. You have to put either 1928 collection or, some, or 1928 jewelry. Um, and it's always different in each platform that you list it to. So there's a little bit of futzing there, but overall it's not that that big of an issue because what I do is I first list items to eBay because you're able to sell similar and it makes the listing process so quick. Then I I download them or I export them onto, I guess, no, import them. I import them onto my Vendu account and I can see all my listings there. 
I can choose which ones I want to cross post, cross post to where. And so then I just, you know, click what's the brand. And Mercari does not recognize a lot of brands that I think that they should. I don't think they recognize Napier, Coro, Swank, things like that. And it's just silly. So I just put unbranded and Mercari just isn't my friend. This, however, is was one of my best finds. Very MCM, very 1960s, maybe 70s. And, well, maybe it's 60s because um, it is marked Crown Trifari. So let's see. On the back, you wouldn't think. So that's why it's a really cool find. So there it says Trifari right there. And there's the crown on top. This one was $5.99. I would pay $5.99 all day for this unique piece. I bet someone from China is going to obsess over this and want this. I ran into another jewelry reseller in the Salvation Army store today. I invited her to the group. So welcome uh, if you were able to find me on YouTube. But she was saying that things kind of fly out of her store too as far as Monet, Trifari, Crown Trifari going to China. Her thought, which I never thought of and I'm not sure if it's true, <clears throat> but her thought was that maybe because, okay, well, let's back up. We are selling a lot of the Monet Trifari higher end jewelry pieces to other resellers in um, like New York, Chicago, and China. And I'm like, how are they able to make a profit <clears throat> on these pieces? Um, but she is wondering if they are making molds of the pieces so that they can make copies of the vintage jewelry. I don't know. That is a thought. Never thought of it before. But I do know that countries like Japan and China are really, really into just Americana and American vintage just in general right now. So <clears throat> it could be just... A, a better collector's market over there <clears throat> and they can't get a lot of American vintage jewelry. Okay, this one was half off and again, we have the tag and this one is the Monet tag. This is a classic high quality unisex gold tone chain. I've just been doing so well with classic high quality vintage chains lately and you guys have seen it just even the ones that are unmarked I've been selling them so I picked that one up this one oh another chain but this one is actually really long and it actually feels even nicer tiny bit more wear but this one is that that you know the the one that confuses so many people where it is actually a T with a crown on it again for crown trifari but so many people are like, what is this mark? I see it so often on different jewelry Facebook groups. Fortunately for us, right, we have our huge jewelry maker's mark database um, linked at the top of our Facebook page that has, <laughs> has this clearly in there for you guys. But um, definitely, definitely a good score for this one. And this one was $6.99. Okay, this one was another half off, but look, okay, so we have the fold over clasp and then look at how lovely these vintage rhinestone flowers are. And there's like a little AB coated crystal in the middle of them. This is just, it's like, <clears throat> it's just a little bit more unique of a vintage rhinestone necklace that I absolutely love. So I'm thinking maybe 1960s for this one, and it's so sweet. The reason I'm thinking of that is because of the prong set rhinestone look, which is like old Hollywood, but then flower power um, stuff started coming out around the 60s. So that is my thought on that. <clears throat> okay, we got this one, $4.99. This is a, oh, it's a set. Oh, that's even better. I did not know that. Okay, so this is dyed rice pearl. Let's see, is it marked at all? I don't 
think so. But it's a rice pearl torsade. And these are genuine pearl things. So torsade is definitely a keyword to use. The twisted um, pearls. But now, so this was really popular to twist your pearls. I don't know, like 80s or something. Um, and like other stone type necklaces. But now it's more popular to like untwist and, and keep it a little bit more loose. But I don't think you can untwist these. Still really nice, beautiful. And we have a Demi Perer set here. Yay! Little pastel colors. We have the cutest, I don't care if it's $7, cutest, cutest Whiting and Davis purse you ever saw. Look at how stinking adorable this Whiting and Davis purse is. Oh my word. Okay, so like someone will die. Like should I put this in the antique booth or online? I'll look. But Whiting and Davis, this is a newer tag here. I'm thinking 80s, 90s. Let me know if I'm wrong. But it definitely has this like chain mesh uh, look that Whiting and Davis is very much known for. Yes. So I got that one. This is lovely. Okay. This one was $20, which I definitely paid up for it, but it's just so gorgeous. This is probably opera or flapper length. And this is the kind of necklace where you can double, triple, or you can even wear it under a blazer and tie it to make it kind of like a wide drop situation. And it has these really beautiful luster pearls. I think these are um, freshwater pearls, but they're large. Anyways, I forgot to mention that if you are interested in any of the jewelry from this video, I usually have it listed right before the video comes out or shortly after, so check back. But it's, um, I usually have it listed on lilyworksreseller.com in the jewelry collection. I also have my merch there. Forgot to mention that. Um, and thank you to those of you who have been wearing the merch and sharing it on our Facebook group page. That is so awesome. And like, I literally squeal with joy because that's something that I created and I made. <laughs> And it's so cool to see. So I don't print them myself, but I made the designs and that's really cool. Let's see. Okay, now, like, I don't remember getting this. Was this stuck to something? <laughs> Did I accidentally put this into a, um, into a pile? Like, I'm like... How did I not notice this? Um, but anyways, there's a spring ring clasp. I don't think it says anything. Let's see. Does it say anything? Um, it says Japan. You guys, don't... This could... Okay, so this is an example of... It could be a torsade where you twist it or keep it loose. But this was a mistake pickup. I don't know why... Why this was even in there. No words. <laughs> was this, like, stuck... Maybe it was stuck in with this. I'm not sure. <sighs> okay. All right. Next, I have sold this necklace before. This is the Monet. Let's see. I have the little tiny push-in box type clasp here. And it's the hand-knotted hand faux pearl like choker, necklace, just classic. Again, half off, Monet, yes. All right, here's the other earring. Look at this glasses case. Oh my gosh, so atomic and fun. Again, I paid up for this, but I'm like, I need to put this in my antique booth or something. I don't come across atomic things very often. And I don't know if it's because people are collecting it now and holding on to it, but I just don't find it. Okay, so it says, oh, Dr. Paul Moss. Let's see, a complete visual service at uh, 49th Street, Milwaukee. That is so cool. How much do we love that? That is so fun. 
So let me know, should I list this online? Should I put this in the antique booth? Yeah. Needs a little wipe. A little wipe down. And then last thing are these Disney pins. And I got the set. So we have Pooh and Christopher Robin. And it says Jam. <laughs> J-A-M. We have Eeyore and then we have Piglet. And these are like the older drawing styles where they're not as like round and cute. They're more, I don't know. What is the word? They're, they're just different. And so I didn't look these up. My phone died again. And, but I can put up what I find. So these were $2.50 each. I know that some, so this is $19.90, right? $19.90. Um, some Disney pins can go for decent money and usually just Disney pins in general get decent, you know, traction to your store or Disney, basically anything Disney and collectible. So I did grab these and I don't know, should I list them together or separately? I think I kind of want to keep them as a family. I have a problem. <laughs> I like keeping things as a family. So yeah. All right, you guys, let me know what you thought of this haul video. And if you learned anything, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.